The next subtopic for transport system is initiation of heartbeat. First, what is heartbeat? Heartbeat refers to the alternating contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle or cardiac muscle stimulated by electrical impulse generated by the natural pacemaker of the heart or also known as SA node. SA node is a group of cells called myocyte found on the upper wall of the right atrium. SA node will produce electrical impulse that will spread across the wall of atrium which will initiate the heart contraction that we call heartbeat. This is why SA node is called the natural pacemaker of the heart because it is the SA node that control the number of impulse generated which will lead to heart contraction and heart relaxation. This is also the reason for the heart being said to be myogenic because the heartbeat or the heart contraction originates from within the heart muscle and not from the nerve system. Next structure is AV node or atrioventricular node. AV node found at the base of the wall between the atrium which functions to relay impulse received from the SA node to the lower chambers of the heart. The next component of the heart electrical conduction system is the bundle of his, bundle branches and then Purkinje fibers. In the first step of initiation of heartbeat, SA node will generate electrical impulse that will directly spread across the wall of atrium. This electrical impulse will cause the wall of atrium to contract simultaneously which causes blood from the atrium to be pumped into the ventricles. The contraction of the atrium creates high pressure environment which allows the blood to push against the AV valve. The AV valve opens and blood can flow into the ventricles. Next, the impulse from the SA node has now arrived at the AV node and then delayed at the AV node for 0.1 second before being passed to the bundle of haze. In total, there will be 0.3 seconds time gap between the moment the impulse generated by the SA node and the impulse relayed by the AV node to the bundle of haze. The 0.1 second delay in impulse transmission at the AV node is very important because it will allow the atria to fully contract and empty the blood completely into ventricles. In the next step, the electrical impulse from the AV node will travel along the bundle of his bundle branches and then Purkinje fiber, then spreading to the wall of ventricles which causes the ventricles to contract from apex upwards. Contraction of ventricles from apex upwards is very important because it will push the blood from bottom up direction. Blood inside the ventricle will be pumped out of the ventricle via aorta and pulmonary artery located at the top of the heart. Notice that during ventricle contraction, the wall of atrium relax because at this point, it no longer has the electrical impulse since the impulse now has arrived at the AV node and the SA node has yet to generate another electrical impulse. In conclusion, we can see that the heartbeat starts with contraction of the atrium followed by contraction of the ventricle. When the atrium contracts, the ventricle relaxes and when the ventricle contract, the atrium relax. This alternating contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle is called heartbeat.